for waking up knowing you have to play against a team like Toronto. You have to play against a team like Optic. So the fact that they are going head to head, it's going to be fun. You heard the desk talk about the map set. It's a square up basically the entire way through. Maybe just a precursor to them meeting up at the next major. Because honestly, I mean, it might just be an expectation. If you're battling for the top four, they're going to find the or find each other at some point. But indeed, and this is going to be an absolute throwdown for all the new fans joining us. A very, very exciting build up towards Major 2. This is definitely the match of the week, and we're excited to have it last here. For all the European fans staying up late, sorry, but not sorry. It's just the way it goes. Here we go, though. Map number one into Rio we fly. And it's the man of the hour, Shotzi. We already know that he is impossible to contain. And the lower level teams, they get bodied by him. Well, on the opening break, Toronto, well, they handle it perfectly well. The nades on point. The coordination is there. And, I mean, even better news, you flip the spawns as well, or at least potentially. You're trying to work on that for Toronto as they're collecting the initial time. Lovely opening kills, Shotzi. Moving, scrapping clean next in the feed there. Still maintaining a nice hold over P1. So many avenues of attack here, many angles to worry about. And isolating those fights, knowing where the enemy's coming from, nearly impossible. But so far, great work out of Ultra. A nice 20-ish point lead, 20 to go. It's beautiful as well. I mean, this is as good as the, the time is really going to get. Scrap barely shooting back against them. Optic, maybe good news is you at least, well, I'm going to say good news. You partially keep the spawns over towards new. It's going to be Kenny working with Pred on the right side of the map. And maybe an opportunity for Shotzi to make the play be a nuisance on the map. His teammates nearby. Shotzi, though, checking the door. Again, interesting spot. He finds himself in. Scrap not going to expect it. And this is where Shotzi can turn this map into his playground. Beautiful stuff. He's already managed to subdue. Kleenex keep him back not able to get into the fight insight stays on the donut for now on the approach towards p2 all optic texas so far good stuff from them keeping a hold of this hard point scrap desperately trying to make his way forward the guns ringing out dashing out toe to toe on the point with Kleenex wins the fight optic hold good handles as well now it is all just one direction guns looking forward and for 30 seconds on this time you imagine maybe easy to collect some good gunfights coming through inside actually ribs dashy uh, off of the old hot dog stand but in the meantime while toronto is sort of battling for that old time to make sure optic can't get it a little bit of square up on the other side of the map and shotzi constantly behind you i think almost every one of his kills has come around the boxes section of the map but now he gets to play the cutoff man it's Toronto. they do get the left side spawns they get to square up with the pressure from optic clearly present on the hill Shotty is still moving. Here comes the next fight. Will he get it? Kleenex backs up. Scrap with the teamwork. Fred from up high. Can't get both. Nice shots. Nice work. Optic take the hard point back. Got the spawns as well. That is the big thing long term. So a nice moment there for Optic Texas. Window though going to be opened up. You see as soon as Optic have one thing going for him. It is double trials rolling through. It is a four man wipe. And the spawns are gone. The hill time gone. In Toronto now they just get to collect. Aria is a banger already. 30 seconds remaining here on the point. Envoy holding Optic back. Kenny over the top side of the Humvee, taken care of. Dashy with a trade. A second for him. Whoa. The snap, but not enough. Optic are still holding it. Pred waiting for his moment to strike. Shossy, though, doesn't wait for a second. Saws on in. Pred picking up the pieces, and the final 10 should go to Optic. Yeah, now Pred trying to put on the pressure as well through boxes, right? You had, well, you had, I should say, Toronto over towards the new time first, but they can't feel comfortable. I feel like Insight is the benchmark player when things are going to go well. He's going to thrive, but three and seven for the moment. You can see Optic really trying to push the pace. At the same time, though, anytime Optic does something well, Toronto bounce back and does it even better. A near four-man wipe is Ultra. Reclaim the time, get back in position, and Envoy pouncing, ready, waiting for his next kill. Significantly outnumbered so far. Can Ultra find a few more? Oh, unfortunate back and forth. Absolute bloody pandemonium here on the outside of Rio. Lovely shots from Scrap. 12 and 8 as he puts Dashi in the dirt. Yeah, that's like the extra lethal threat that you have. And one of your main AR players can rock an SMG and thrive like he has. I mean, he's putting up the Kleenex numbers. So Scrap, you know, the case for MVP always going to be there. Right now, cutting off Optic from making their way towards the hill. And the cutoff should pan out. You expect the trades to exist. Insight going to deliver. Pred last man standing, though, wins the gunfight. But that is all for seven seconds over towards new Ultra continuously ahead of the game. The name was not wrong. Pred 14 and 9. Certainly 
slightly taken over, but his team, not so much. Ultra still with a commanding lead, still with full control. A bit of a help for there from Kenny as the Sentex clears the point. Briefly, Envoy soaring through the kill feed. Desperately now onto the time. Optic, the counter-attack is not quite over yet. Shotzi, the tip of the spear in sight. Backs up, taken care of as Shotzi finds two. Nice two piece to open things up. Kleenex now waiting in the wings. Needs to respond with kills of his own. So not going to dive out to time. But Shati does not give you time to breathe. It jumps up from the opposite angle. Envoy finally there to shut him down. That is the nice little bounce back moment Optic we're looking for. Still though on the break. Ultra are soaring from over top. You just see every trophy, every player. This hill is being lit up with everything. And for the final 15 seconds, I mean, honestly, unreal. There's no room to breathe. It is so difficult to collect this time. This is definitely a high octane match. Oh, indeed. Absolute non-stop chaos. Now, as hot as the game may seem, I know one thing that won't be that crazy, and that's the comms of Toronto Ultra. Is it Pred still, right? Do we kill him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toilet, toilet, toilet. Yeah, I don't, uh, I'm holding Promise you, promise you, Toby. Do I get trophy to Don't see him. He's left. Promise you, he's left. Don't see him. Shot, one's, uh, I'm gonna die here. Actually, he's dead. Don't see him. Shot, shot. And then security. Security. Happen. Security. Yeah, Someone there, hops, man. Two. On time and cat. Uh, nothing pinch. Check out time. Do time. You oh, and user need to. You and right side time. Who pushed that whale? Oh good. Then the armor. Whale. Whale armor got me. Go on, uh, chop. Go chop. Weak, 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 weak in. I'll be caught. Caution, caution steps. I've slipped. I've slipped. I'm caught. Left side, gun cast steps. Both slipped. Both slipped. The play for all. Right cast steps. Two huge harm me. In. Go and chop two shotty. Hold new. Hold new. Yeah, one's already in the right here on me. I spawn. I spawn calf. Yeah, spawn right. One shoot. One shoot. Give me a second. You dead? That's the guy with streaks. Could be in the security by the way. Yeah, no, 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 no I didn't see anything ramp. I have to like back okay, up. Charge, drop in just like, okay. I'm gonna drop in just like, I'm gonna drop in as ever, Toronto Ultra. Now to the other side of the stage as Optic Texas managing to slowly but surely pull this one back. Now for a quick listen in. I'm boxes, I'm boxes. I'm boxes, I'm boxes. I'm boxes, I'm boxes. I'm boxes, I'm I'm one. I'm looking for boxes. Could they be left? I'm so one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Boxes, shit up. Your whole time, whole time. Pick up, scrap, bro. Scrap, 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 scrap. Can you guys get time? I got time. Uh, you're no good. No one left, no one left. He hit the deep right then. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm holding left. Hold left, P5. I'm holding mid. 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 I'm holding Split throw, split throw. Watch out, watch out. Spawn out deep, bro. You got stay left. You got the stairs, one HP. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Repeat it, repeat it. Are you just trying to get a hole? Stop you, stop you. I got one to miss. He's on top, he's on top. Where's he on top? Where's he on top? I don't see him. Give me stairs, give me stairs. He's on the next, one of the next guys. I'm challenging shit. Yeah, back there, back there, trap and node. I'm on you, where are you? I'm in the middle of the tram. I'm back there, Brandon. They flipped. I hate you. I'm on the tram, bro. Madness. Optic Text has come so close to taking the lead chance, but not quite able to do it as Ultra still climbing away. It, it's still though so nice. You can see both these teams, they're just both playing good cards. So the reads are always on point. And anytime they make a small mistake about where the spawns are coming through, it takes all but another second to figure things out. But Ultra with the advantage in the game by a very small margin inside the time as well, doing the dance to try to stay alive. But the nades and stuns and the players flying over top. You can tell they're feeling the pressure, but the core Coordination is there, Scrap and Envoy able to light up the feed and still stabilizing and holding on, but by God, they are just desperate for a trophy. It's not stop, man. Anybody, my kingdom for a trophy is inside, gets it in there. Wait for it. 
the engagement now as Optic Fly Forge should be able to get the break here. No. Insight pulls a couple with him down to the depths of hell. Well, from there, we now go to a brand new hard point. Other side of the map, nearly through this absolute banger of a map so far. And the way this like hill played out last go around was Ultra got there first and then Shotzi just broke it down. This time Ultra got there first, but it is a pinch. It is a swarm. You got Dashy pushed out to a corner of the map. He does get cleared out, but it's Optic now playing from the other side. Oh, of God. course, though, they're also in a pinch and that is a mixy moment that Ultra thrive in. But now you got to read the spawn. You got Envoy cutting off three. On the flip side, you had number eight Kleenex maybe even watching the back. So you talk about a game with spawns that are difficult to predict. Ultra are playing for every possibility. Oh, we're over 200 points now. As our boy's still alive here, he managed to break contact and buy so much time for his boys, it will amount to nothing. Optic break the point. They've got control now and 20 seconds with their name on it. I mean, you're playing for everything, but yeah, it's still tough to read and even Ultra are getting the split spawns. So if this is a hill where you are constantly just head on a swivel, Envoy though fighting for these final 10 seconds, any advantage you get with this small amount of time is going to go such a long way in Ultra again. It has been consistent, just ever so slightly ahead of the game. Again, that new rotation, they're in P1 first. Shotzi setting up for the flank, but number five is going to read it. But again, the reads are one thing. The execution is different. They are players going on tears everywhere on the this map. Ultra still full control of P125 now for the win. Optic, one more break. You've got to stay alive right here, right now, Let's Kenny manages to catch out one. Fly forward. Optic with the numbers now. Can they get the break? Here comes Shotzi, the first man in. Doesn't get a mount for anything. Dashy gets one. Trade it out. Ultra still with a contest. Kenny keeping the play alive. Optic with the break. And they got the spawns for new as well. So if you continue this gameplay, if you keep the pressure on them, and you make sure you maybe even block those right side spawns again a situation for optic or just reading and preparing for the worst but it's the square up it is the break it is ultra getting the first two kills but they've yet to get that time so think about the rotation as well that was a big win and that's it ultra are in can't get the win here on the map but they put themselves dangerously close optic already looking towards new scraps gone on a big rotate oh what a win against kenny the back line is now open a war on two fronts kleenex taken care of as optic dig in and he got inside flanking too. So you got every member on Optic with their head on a swivel. Scrap hand page because his teammates are going for the break. He's going to get his third on this life and you're keeping Optic off the time. Oh. And he's still getting the kills looking for the new. Looking for the new Envoy in. Time going to Ultra. Optic have got to find it again. And it's Shotzi. The late break holds it down. You've got an open angle now. War on one front. Scrap destroys Shotzi. The hard point open again. But nobody close enough to get the time. Nades from Scrap. Endless onslaught here as the barrage continues. Scrap head down. Five for the win. Can he stay alive? His boys have got the kills. Kleenex drives them back. And map one is done. Oh my god, yeah, the absolute blender. That is real hard point. That is non-stop start to finish. That is like an endurance map as well. Just for the fact that there's like two or three different hills where both of these teams like are making good plays on the mini map, prepared for every single spawn out, waiting for the rotations to go through, the trades on point as well, but is mixy and difficult to keep track of everything that exists on Rio Hardpoint. Ultra come out on top and that is square up map number one out of the way. Toronto with that extra edge. Things starting good. Well, the rumble in Rio is over. That was exciting. My goodness. Great plays either side, but just that little bit extra from Toronto Ultra. The game flow will show you that. But before we get that to the stats, 36, 36 <laughs> from Scrap. Sweet child of mine. Your boy was frying. That's 27 non-traded. One of the things I wanted to sort of bring up, Chance, from an individual perspective, just the pure eye test, Scrap and Envoy making life incredibly difficult for Optic and nearly every single step of the way. Absolutely absurd. Yeah, a hundred percent. I will say though, like that is an incredibly balanced like stat line that we just had to every single player in that like five to 5.5 K damage every single player just about with double digit assist except for scrap and that's just a scrap was winning most of his gunfights the man got 36 kills but for a balanced score line and a balanced game but it was quite literally i mean the biggest deal was just the opening break right i mean toronto ultra get 46 to 1 after the fact every hill it's a bit of a balanced game in between so that it might honestly be a case of you win the opening break eventually you win the map as long as you can continue to play nearly perfect but I'm an ultra. They certainly brought it to the map one.
Exciting stuff there in our first map of this series. Again, it's a best of five, as Pucket had to remind Ali as we look across the highlights. And honest to God, I mean, these are great highlights. We've seen some fantastic individual plays, some really nice multi-kills all across the map. And again, Kleenex, not necessarily the craziest in the stat lines, but look at these entry kills. The man knows how to break a hard point. Same can be said for Shotzi as well, but individual prowess across all eight of our players here in this lobby. It truly is some top tier COD. Yeah, and even in these like highlights, it's just people picking up the flanks, getting the trades, reading the weird spawns. Everything is on point. And everybody was like taking turns being the fry man. Like I know Kenny had a bit of a slow start, but he's also the man that popped a three piece to go and break like the P3 and became a thorn in their side. Maybe you give the most credit to Scrap though, with the most kills. And again, there's certain teams in the league where when one AR has to switch over to the rival nine to run that third sub, some players struggle. Some teams don't even, like they run the two, two setup as well, because they're not comfortable with their AR pushing the pace. I know Optic Texas, again, maybe dabbling a little bit more with the double MCW setup, but the extra pressure, maybe something that panned out for Toronto towards the end, certainly a close Rio hard point, but 42 point win ultra happy for it and it'd be fun to see if they square up again if they made it the major on the uh the old rio hp but now the pace is going to be dramatically slowed down as we go to a karachi search indeed well we'll see if that pace changes because uh, i mean karachi could go crazy you never know man i mean the way we've seen Shotzi playing recently endless love for him on the timeline and across all social media for his very very fast and flashy plays we'll see what happens here though Mate, i was just going to go back to that pressure i mean ultra seem like one of those teams that just know they have this fantastic understanding of when they have to push forward a little bit change gears hold back just for a moment and i think that sort of comes down again to the good comms they have there's not so much there's much more airspace to work with they're able to have those kind of conversations they're able to make those calls Everyone's listening fantastically, and it's showing in the stats so far. Actually, both these teams looking pretty solid. Uh, absolutely. I mean, the records may be not as perfect that they might be striving for come major time, but when you're talking about a map like Karachi, it is you want to convert when you get the bomb down, you want to convert when you get the man advantage, and this is where Toronto Ultra have been nearly flawless. Any situation where they have to clutch up in some capacity, they're the best team in the game at it. On the flip side from Optic, that's their theme for Search and Destroy, maybe more specifically on Terminal compared to Karachi, but it is the mid-round adjustments, and you can just see that conversion version rate not nearly as high still decent for the side of optic texas but right now going against arguably or maybe not so much the best team in the game indeedy well we'll see how the black and green fare as they've got a tough one here shotsy though again looking at the stats looking at his kds this is just from search and destroy thus far in our qualifiers towards the miami major 1.43 obviously had a whale of a time against us more some other teams but for now we'll see how he goes on karachi all eyes on that man a superstar to some, a colossal pain in the ass to others. Here's map two. Well, colossal pain in the ass to everybody that plays against him. That is certainly the, uh, the thing that is universal. But, you know, he can be a route man as well, leaning towards the A side. Uh, uh, more often than not, a lot of the first blood battles can take place over towards A. But in the meantime, Scrap just beams Kenny, does get traded out. Kashasi loves the top red avenue. But now just about that being colossal pain do you read him insight does but he's a little bit fearful as you should be shots he able to get that next kill man advantage from optic the dance doesn't last for long though odds even optic towards mid is looking like a b hit overall pred those players did not go past him he's still carrying the bomb as well so pred oh dear envoy Maybe more than his spidey sense is tingling but he doesn't actually see pred get the plant down he'll kick himself but only for a moment in this 2v2 You expect he one went to bridge, other guy MIA. Not the best smoker. Maybe the smoke just to get out towards bridge. Awkward moment. They're going to hunt down Pred. You at least have to get this trade. You set yourself up for the 1v1, but they have no intel on Dashy. Dashy. Oh! Nearly spied out. The reach out. Big Bruce. Lightning on the second attempt. Envoy simply not able to handle that kind of gunfight. We will see Dashy's POV for that final kill. A very, very strong showing. No problem for Big Bruce. Two on the round. Uh, that to me is just great instincts, right? Like, you know, it's Envoy. You know, he's got the rival nine. So as soon as he gets that intel, he's like, well, he's going to have to sprint at me. That's the only play. So Dashy, instead of leaving it up to the finesse game of Envoy, goes for the instant child, has the advantage with the better gun. So Dashy on point in that round. And Shotzi as well, making a nice little route sort of play. 
Maybe another one gonna come through. Two players least throwing nades out from Ultra, looking straight towards the middle of the map, but it is Kleenex that comes out on top, gets the quick for his blood, but heck, SMG is there to trade. Pred up top being annoying. dashi has got the coverage and optic right now on point so far on defense to the point where Pred, I mean, he's already made the play. He's made the play. He's behind number seven. He's behind Insight, and Insight's out. So an awkward moment where the lights are on, but no one's home. Insight's just run past another player. How many more players will run past to one another? All down, a scrap now, 1v3. He's got to find that bomb just down by the B-bomb site and somehow take care of three members of Optic. And this is hopeless as well. Gonna have to absolutely gun some players, but good shoulders being thrown. Dashy even throwing the extra shoulder to know he's getting pushed. And that just means Pred gets to go active. And yeah, Kenny and Dashy grouped up together. Good shots coming Woo! through, but it doesn't make a difference. Dashy right now, he's locked in. He's on point. This is the dashy that so many teams are worried about. This is Big Bruce when he's absolutely gunning. Look at the confidence here in the re-challenge. He doesn't necessarily have a huge advantage over Scrap. We saw it from Scrap's POV, but Dashy certainly feeling himself. Immense confidence so far out of the Optic squad. Yeah, in perfect shots as well. Advantage or a disadvantage doesn't exist in certain gunfights when these guys hit every bullet. It's just who gets those first tags. And again, that is a look of focus. There's no joyous laughter. It is on to the next round. 2-0 lead right now from Optic. On point for the moment. Nate's coming through as well. Doesn't look like there's any heavy connection. You got Envoy being annoying as well. Talk about a row. Envoy might have found the hole in the net. He's got the intel. Not a shot you can take, but he's coming to his team. Hey, they're more pressure over by A. Got to be ready for it. I mean, you're looking at a very, very close first and second for the most annoying cerebral players in the league between Shotzi and Envoy. Guys who really do get under your skin. And at this point, directly under Dashi. That's the damage dealt insight. Cleans it up. First blood, Toronto. That is wonderful teamwork as well. Shooting a guy jumping over like that. Now you got Shotzi on the flip side, though, making the other play. So again, the route men on point. Shotzi, this is the oh. part where he is a colossal pain in the ass. You lose track of him. He can be anywhere, like right above you. So difficult to contain. We can see the routes he takes. We get to peek behind the magician's curtain. With the bomb planted now, Ultra have got to make a move. And Kleenex is on it. Kleenex has dived right onto the defuse. We'll have to check it. Kenny, he checks it just in the nick of time. Damage dealt now from Envoy. He has to spring to life. 1v3 as Kleenex nearly won the round. But Optic Texas, Kenny, what a intuitive play to just check that bomb at that right time. He cannot believe it. Uh, I, I don't know about intuitive. That's just Kenny learning from mistakes. I remember the start of the year on this map where they didn't check the bomb until it was a oh split God, second right. too late from the exact same sort of spot. So yeah, fool me one, shame on you, Kenny. Not getting fooled again. Maybe, the, I don't know, the Dikembe Mutombo finger wag towards the end. It was close though. It was a good play out of Kleenex for a 2v3, but yeah. I don't think there's any uh, ninjas on Optic, at least in that sort of situation happening. <sighs> that would have been something. Wow. Well, three to nothing so far with Optic Texas. Looking particularly dangerous here on Karachi. What are we going to see this round? The team shots have been very good. Great heads up play. That stun's going to land. A little bit of information here in the Envoy. The bomb carrier. Soon to be the man who delivers the bomb nowhere. Nice bit of work there from Kenny. Slides on through the smoke. Can he get a kill out of this situation? Maybe. Spots plenty. Big win. The second. Kenny gets it. That's an outstanding run so far. No streaks, but that's basically the round. Well, Dash is getting active, though. It is a 2v2. And if you try to plant this bomb, you might get caught on some bad timing because Pred has maybe a small amount of information on the cross, but Dash has pushed you out so far. He has to be telling Pred they're working through our spawn or they're trapped in P2. The patient's on point and he gets out with his life. Dashi making plays all over the map, and Pred closes the door. A perfect 4-0 in round count right now from Optic. Some of the best S&D they have played all year, and they're bringing it out in the right match at the right time. Don't count the eggs before they hatch, though. Things are good, but it is not over. You know, Ultra, a team that can absolutely fight back. They got to keep it up. But again, perfect play. I mean, Kenny's picking up pieces, finding the timing on the, the right routes. Everybody from Optic right now getting involved. Wonderful looks out of Optic Texas from Karachi. They are swimming through this one so far. Attacking round now. Kenny with that bomb in hand over towards B. Those eggs might not be hatching, but there are chickens on this side of the map. Let's find out. 
Who clucks first? It looks like Dashy, but the trades have gone the way of Ultra. They've just like swarmed as well. I mean, those players absolutely disappearing. Pred though, able to get active and catch one. But in the meantime, Scrap, I think, is going to hunt him down. Oh! And he just gets gunned. Oh my word. The Rival 9, what a gun. Let me tell you. Let's get a player cam react from that fight. Scrap, not impressed. Kleenex now 1v2. Pred. Bang. Optic Texas with a dagger round. That was the confidence killer. Look at the smiles on those boys. Yeah, he's blowing him away on that one. That's just, uh, I don't know. Them's be the break sometimes. The rival nine, absolute shotgun in that moment. Scrap makes the perfect play. That is not a player that misses very often, and I don't think he did. Fred just had the sauce, and yeah, you'll see the reaction too. What? Just confusion, <laughs> elation. <laughs> Maybe an element of joy, but outside of the joy, you are down 5-0. I don't know what it is. This might be the 7th 6-0, like, stomping we've had in Search and Destroy this year. Toronto Ultra, they found themselves on both sides. They have indeed. Well, you're about to find all four members of Toronto Ultra here by the B-bomb site. Pred, I don't know how many red dots he saw on that minimap, but I tell you what, it's looking deadly. Lovely shots. Insight can't keep up with him. One more kill gets Pred a cruise missile, which in this round is basically it. Can he get another? Shots, his first blood helps out. Oh, sugar. <laughs> hey, forced the team counts. kill. Did his job, yeah. <laughs> kind of counts. Insight now 1v3 to stay alive on the map. Jamie Craven, the king of clutch. Get it done. Shots, he wonderful damage. Not enough to get the kill, but plenty to make him move. Optic are holding hands. You will not be fighting one at a time, unless by some stroke of magic. I mean, there's just simply no way, right? I mean, bomb downs over toward B, 35 seconds to work with. You're going to have to gun just straight up at least two different players, if not all three. And nobody's giving away any freebies. Kenny's just going to be throwing shoulders. You already got the intel, playing his life as well. You get time to flank. This is going to be a goose egg. This is Optic dominating Toronto Ultra on one of their best maps. I was going to say... 15 seconds to go. There is no way. He's run into the very much the wrong part of town. It's all green. It's a clean sheet for Optic Texas in map two. 6 0 to tie the series up. And we saw the way the gunfights were going, too. Just straight up blowing them away. 6 0, number seven on the year, I do believe. Ultra, I think, are responsible. They've been a part of four of them. I think they're responsible for two. But a wild thing to see Ultra getting goose egged again in stage two. I mean, they were on pace to maybe break the search and destroy record for the number of wins in a row, but simply outclassed there on Karachi. And for Optic Texas fans, gotta be happy with that SD performance. There is literally nothing you could possibly complain about. First blood's on point, big plays from every single player across the board. And I mean, maybe for Pred, just a, a little bit of electricity in that man's gun. Arc Rifle, or, I don't know, I, forget, I can't remember what it's called, but that's 250 to 208, map one, Rio Hardpoint, we slow things right down, Optic Texas, they do a little bit of a slow dance, no kissing though just yet, we might be getting a third base here on Invasion Control, that's map number three, to find who takes the lead in this series, Skid Row and Terminal, to get to that end of the series, and again, we've talked about this, the desk touched upon it, that Terminal is a spicy one for both teams, we'll see what happens there, see if Optic can make those mid-map adjustments, we'll find out if we have to go to game five, way ahead of ourselves, friends, we're going to go to a quick break, when we come back it's time to play control don't go too far it's optic texas it's toronto ultra this is the cdl Slice up your competition with the executive chef operator now available in game in the call of duty store Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator, now available in-game in the Call of Duty store.
Welcome back to the Call of Duty League. Eyes on those monitors, friends. There's always a meme or two for you. We're nearly ready to get into map number three. But if you're enjoying the matches so far, because they are indeed very, very spicy, and you're enjoying the show online, you can just watch the show in person. Come on down to Miami. We're selling tickets in a moment. There'll be a QR code to scan on your screen in a brief moment. That's right, folks. Get it. We'll hold it so you can get that code. Maybe the person next to you. Maybe if you put your phone, I don't know, if you're watching this on a mobile device, good luck. I think you can screen grab this. There has to be a solution in there somewhere, but do what you can to grab yourself a Major 2 ticket and come to the Gamer G event. It's going to be absolutely delightful. We're going down to, my, down to Florida once again. It's going to be a good time. You're going to see these teams in person, up close and personal for some of them in the splash zone. So let me tell you, these boys are spitters and these boys have been spitting as well. Look at them stats. I mean, the stats completely out of control. You have Dash Heap, maybe a little bit more objective minded compared to Scrap, but the damage output, very comparable. And of course, that is across the entire game mode. It can be map specific as well, but we're going to an invasion where, I mean, if you've been paying attention, Optic Texas, they've been blowing teams out of the water. Like, it's a theme. It's difficult to win offensive rounds. Optic have just had some where they have looked perfect, but it is going to be Toronto's try on the attacking rounds first, straight over towards A. They go, everything exploding, including Dashy, which means Envoy. He's already made it to the point. Explosivo start. Kleenex on the absolute snaps. Crushing out from Optic on towards that A zone, trying to get the players out. They do. Shot sees the man to get in there and slice Envoy up. Kleenex trying to hold position, trying to hold this forward spot. Shots, he's going to keep him at bay. So far, so good. Toronto find himself over by B as well for now, and this is a very, very clean kill feed for the boys in purple. This is just unbelievable patience by Kleenex as well. If he had ever, like, taken a step forward, Shotzi would have killed him from the sort of window jump up. But if the kills weren't going their way to actually capture A, got to make sure you play your life and keep your map control. Someone needs to watch Dark and someone needs a trophy. A peach of a nade right there just to eliminate the players from the B zone. Make your life that much easier. And Scrap's over here taking routes. He doesn't have much team support right now, but every kill he gets is going to soften the blow. Or Shotzi might have the timing on the flank. No one's going to turn. Couple tags coming through. There's number one, and he's doing his job just by staying alive. Straight on the eyes towards the spawners as well. Oh, come on. Shotzi's playing real good tonight. Nice tags. There's the damage from the rest of the boys as the reinforcements arrive. The cavalry is certainly here. The Shotzi is still in Pinch City and somehow is evading danger. I don't have a clue as to how he has managed to survive this situation for so long. B is still in danger, but Shotzi has done everything humanly possible to save it. Well, that's on one side of the map. On the other, Insight has just made his way to the A zone. He's got Kleenex as the cutoff man. So Shotzi's spree is fantastic. He's got a cruise that is great long term. But in the immediacy, Optic need to get these players off of A. Shotzi's still the cutoff man, but no one else on his team is repositioned. Shotzi versus the world. Can his teammates get inside off the point? Thank you. They did give away an extra tick in the meantime, but if you keep them off B, this is a beautiful, a gorgeous round right now from Optic. We're going to stay on board with Shotzi until this life comes to a close, I'm pretty sure, because my good God, what a round of control this young man is having. Cruz there, 15 seconds to go. He could call it in and possibly save that zone. It comes down to Pred. Can he win a gunfight against three? He gets oh, two! Wow, yeah. Pred gets two! He can't get the third, but here comes Shotzi, 10 in a row. Looking for the 11th! That's the round! You may never see one like it. Damn! Lupe Fiasco, many years ago, wrote a song about this man. Good God. I mean, it quite literally doesn't get better. There was a moment where his team maybe wanted to be a little bit quicker to reposition over to A, but Shotzi does such a good job of picking apart the spawners before he even turns to help. That's literally perfect. Every child, every reposition, playing your life, going for the ego. I mean, talk about, I don't know if that's like a top five player or what you want to call it, but one of the best played rounds of control you are ever going to see. And they won the defense. Nice shot, Optic. Yeah, nice shot, Optic. Good stuff. Well, on the other side now, we've got Toronto Ultra on defense. Will they be as fluid and as exciting as Optic Texas were there? Wonderful, wonderful start to this invasion control. My goodness. We're still on board with Shossi because he hasn't died yet. That's 12 now. Brandon Cruz Castro. The second cruise, he's got two of them. There we go. He's going straight to the spawn. The time he might not be working out from here. I take it all back. He's got another. Can he find the kill? No, it comes to an end. Lucky number 13 for Shotzi.
his first death in three minutes. The man pulled off the double Drake, and now you just have Optic pinning Ultra effectively in their spawn. If it's not annoying enough dealing with Shotzi, I was gonna say, you gotta check every corner as well just to kill Fred. The amount of map control Optic has, you're never comfortable. You're begging for some trades. Luckily for Scrap, Envoy's there to help you out, but now if you're Scrap, you gotta deliver against Shotzi, and he does. So the trade's on point. Ultra finally able to stabilize, but that's not until the B zone is already secure. Optic can set themselves up beautifully. And honestly, if I'm then, if you ever get that, like, cafe control, get pushed up in rugs, get players behind enemy lines, I'm calling in that cruise straight away. Middle of the map. Still being held on. He's in sight. At range. Man, alive. He's shooting straight right now. Jamie Craven keeping it all composed. Here comes the next attack from Optic. They've made it through the old B zone. That side of the map's all theirs. Stun check, but no one's actually going to make this hit, or will they? Because they've all gone back. <laughs> He's at the tank. He gets uh, Okay, dude. What? He's, I mean, like, what? How does it happen? What does it look like? How come I mean, no one finds... Is he running ghost? In, in every... Dude, every death of uh, Scrap, by the way, his player cams are going insane. Yeah, Shotzi breaking records against the best team in the world. Leaving absolutely no room for doubt. Not that there ever was. Now from Optic still, though, trying to get out of their spawn. And Shotzi, the most aggressive player on the map. He does not last for long. But still, though, A Street, nobody's pushed up to the bridge. It's 55 seconds right now on the game clock. Optic right now just searching, hunting for that clean three or four down. Beautiful shots out of insight. My word. I need a few pixels of Kenny's head there available to work with, and he gets it. That gives Ultra a nice life lead. 18 to 13. As we're looking at 35 seconds on the clock. Again, Jamie Craven keeping the middle of the map safe. Pressure is now on. Here comes Kenny. Optic with a bit of space to work with. Not a lot, though. Again, you still have the crews, but with this much time in the game clock, I don't know if they're going to find the moment to actually make that investment, but you never know about a pop-off play. Good timing on the side from Kenny. He gets the best to scrap. Envoy, 2-11, looking for his third kill. He's going to get double challenged. Good damage. He gets at least one, but here comes the flank. Here comes Shotzi, and you know he's going to win it. He's forcing out the deep spawns. He's getting his boy over towards time. I don't know if they have a trophy. They're going to have to dodge some nades, but the nades are coming through as Shotzi. Shotzi is eviscerating you. 4.9 seconds on the clock. No option for a stack just yet. Shotzi's got to find the kills. That's it. The kills are done. Stack it. Optic, get in the damn robot, Shinji. Dive onto that point. The second segment long gone. This could be the most unbelievable turnaround. They've managed to pull it away. Ultra, fly. No hope. What a round. I mean, what, the, what more do you want this man to do? He can't do it. This is the best control performance we could have possibly have. He's blowing away some of the best players in the game on the mid tank. He's the guy taking the deep routes on the flanks to break open the spawn. He's blocking it. He's the main slayer. He's the cruise getter. Shotzi, Mr. Do It All in Ultra. I mean, hey, good luck. You're going to have to win at least one offense, if not multiple. Because Optic, they have been so good on invasion and... I mean, we're getting a masterclass performance right now as to why. Two rounds in, 19 and 4 performance. If this somehow goes to round five, Shotzi, he'll break the kill record. Shenanigans on invasion. Ultra, though, far from over. Okay, fine. Shotzi is 21 and 4. Draining the work they managed to get done there over by the A side of the map. Be wide open right now for Ultra to move on in. They get very cozy. All right, shots wow. from Kleenex gives Shotzi his fifth death. Yeah, it stops that cruise missile coming through as well. I mean, again, he still is in the back pocket. I don't know if there's a need to go triple platinum, but he's working on it. Meanwhile, Ultra working on the B zone. Double stack coming through, and they're playing the two front game. It's only Pred right now trying to defend this A zone, and he gets picked as well. So you got inside, inside the hill. Kleenex to look over him. You're not winning the fight over towards B either. Maybe good news, though. Looks like someone got beamed out of the A zone, but it doesn't mean the pressure isn't still on. To be as Yul Janssen looking to step up to the plate for the team. Right now, he's just dancing, trying to stay alive. Doing an electric job as well. He's bought his teammates a lot of space. He still have to get the kills, though. And for the moment, Ultra struggling to deliver. Maybe just a 1v1 gunfight for the time. Dashy versus Insight. Oh, and he's gonna get it. Gets the it. extra tick, though, has come through, but still a long way to go for Toronto. Yeah, they did a really good work there. Very, very solid attempt towards that at his own. 
A single segment is all they've captured. Two more to go. As Optic now set up for the hit. Shotzi back at it. He goes back on his BS as he has been since the start of this map. We are looking to try to break the kill record. But at this point in time, all he wants to do is keep those boys away from the zone. I mean, there ain't going to be a kill record that you're just not going to be able to go to round five. In the meantime, by the way, Scrap has 21 as well. So it is certainly a battle in the kills department. But Shotzi, the man impossible to weed out. Ultra, you're able to get a decent amount of map control. But as soon as they get to the 50 yard line, they are getting completely shut down. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's corner to corner close quarters battle here on Invasion. Very, very little long range gunfights outside of what we've just seen. And everyone from Ultra doing what they can to find these kills decisively. Preds on a massive flank right now. He's about to get himself a couple. Slowing down the hit from Ultra as they are just unable to really get the ball rolling. Unable to find that momentum. Optic still holding it together. He's got the right gun for the job too. Dash is going to be calling out there's 2A Street. The shots he want to flank or does he want to wrap back and help his teammate when this happens? He's going to wrap back. Again, the call out's coming through from Bruce. But playing so smart as well and so patient. But everybody's grouped up. Everybody's right here. This is the big hit. Ultra to get the first blood. Find a few more kills here and you're laughing. That could be it. We could be now onto the point. Dashi's got to do something absolutely unbelievable here and take down many members of the Toronto Ultra roster. Two of them on the inside. Dashi goes for the slide. They can get the win right here. Big Bruce finds one. Somehow manages to get in. The reinforcements have arrived. Pred takes care of insight and the defense has held. The cruise is here. There's 20 seconds to go. That's the stamp on the game too. Three players out completely exposed he only picks up one but it is the funnel system optic easy gun fights but that is a master class performance and if these two teams meet at the major i would be shocked if ultra run invasion back again slammed top right hand side of your screen had a very big part to play in a historic invasion control I'll take have got me feeling sensational after that one. It's the composure and the resolve of Toronto Ultra that's going to be saving them for the rest of the series. Will we get to that terminal S and D? For now, we're basking in what has been a very good series so far. Hey, dude, I know around Shotzi, there's been a, a lot of yapping just for like the, the sake of it in a sense. But I think maybe the most telling thing was an interview Shotzi had a few weeks ago where he was just talking about through stage one, he's playing with new teammates. Like he goes from playing with Hook in Modern Warfare 2, who believe it or not, has a slightly different play style than Pred. And there's an adjustment period to get used to it. But Shotzi said that he's found his stride, that he is much more comfortable. And my God, is he showing it off? He went on a 13 spot. Free. That's ridiculous. He double cruised in control against the best team in the game. Yeah, top stuff. Well, we have our highlights from this uh, matchup. Uh, not only our highlights, but it's also our scuff play of the game. And yeah, you guessed it, boys and girls. It's just Shotzi. What an unbelievable opening round he had start to finish. A masterclass from the young wizard. And I just love the looks too. Again, it's like down to the detail. The number of things he's doing is perfect. Every child reposition, the decision making on when he wants to jump on the gunfights and go for it. When he's living inside their base, it's like the wrap around. You're feeling the pressure when Toronto's capping the A zone. Still plays for the spawners first before he turns around and like, he quite literally was Mr. Do it all. He was everywhere on the map. And again, just a player that is impossible to keep track of. He had to like three piece ultra before the first trade finally came through. <laughs> Unbelievable. It just keeps going, guys. It just, it's just the never it's the never ending story. This scuff play of the game. Really sensational stuff out of Shossi. That's the that's the stuff that you want to see from him. And that final bang just to help end the map and give Optic the lead here in the series. 6-0, 3-0, Skid Row up next. Will they be able to get a perfect score there? I seriously, seriously doubt it. Ultra though, we saw the promise they showed there in the opening Rio, brilliant stuff there. Can they find it again here on that Skid Row hard point? Force, the terminal section strike. Force that game five, we'll find out. Well, a lot to talk about and break down, but I do want to give a quick shout out to the observers, observers as well, just for staying on the Shotzi cam for that long, because 
I think when we're switching perspectives all the time, you feel the pace of the game coming at lightning speed. But Shotzi had a life where he's playing over by the A zone just around Cafe. Didn't get a kill for 45 seconds, but you can see the sort of work he's putting on and able to like just understand the map control that is going to be important on the map. So basically what I'm saying is rank play teammates, please learn from Shotzi. You're definitely not going to be able to do what he does, but like some ideas orchestrate into your gameplay. But as Miles, as you did point out, back to hard point. But it's another square up map. Optic was so good at Skid Row at the start of the year that it almost became the auto ban against them when teams wanted to play. Optic are happy anytime it slips the net and gets into the series. So they are absolutely going to be poised and ready to go for the map four. Of course, the same thing for Moltra. Maybe the best, if not the best, hardpoint team in the game. They're happy for Skid Row as well. But so far in this square up series, Optic, they bun coming out on top. Yeah, I've certainly come on top. Well, it's whenever you talk about your rank play teammates, Chance, you tell them like, yeah, be more like Shotzi. You hear that, Zeem? Stick <laughs> yeah, uh, well, again, there's only so much you could do. Like trying to replicate Shotzi's gameplay at times can be a recipe for disaster because there are very few players in the world that are actually that good. But I don't know, Halo kids are they're built different. Yeah, this is egregious. Wheeler! Yeah, the tweet's coming through. Shotzi, stop it. They're dead already, says Nolan. Stop it! It is a masterclass. It really has been. I mean, look, there's a lot of these tweets. There's no doubt about it. We're all talking about it. Hey, Shotzi, the series ain't over, though, though. Series ain't over. That is still the true thing. It is still Toronto Ultra. It is still a hard point we're going into in that terminal map. Okay, yeah, we'll just keep the tweets rolling. How many was that? It's good gas. It's we had great a waterfall gas. of engagement regarding <laughs> that last one. My God. Well, Skid Row hard point so far. Hold percentage. Both our teams fantastic at locking it down on this map. But then again, frankly, nearly everybody is because it's Skid Row. Let's find out what happened, boys and girls, in a P1. It's good side Skid Row, too. And the opening break, honestly, might have been the difference maker on Rio. Here's the opening break, Shotzi. Surprise, surprise, gets the first blood. More shocking revelation. Fred on the yeah. flank, daggering you off the jump jump ultra bad spawns tough spot to be in you already got to be worried about streets maybe good news you can rotate over towards p2 but bad news you're already down 20 points hey that's not bad Skid Row, we'll see it happen top left hand side of the mini map is exactly where p2 is going to be in ultra we are looking at them on holding it for now can they get that time because they will be soaring right back into this one optical be looking good after p1 p2 is now very very close to business and ultra set up for it and for Optic, we saw the stats as well. They don't rotate like crazy on this map, but that's because their holds and breaks are basically second to none. So they are are happy to take that exchange. We get 50 seconds on P1, and we trust ourselves to break down the money hill because even if they don't, it's virtually just going to be a tied-up game. A couple trades, though, getting exchanged. At least no flanks are coming through. Maybe Envoy toying with the idea of working through Garage, but right now Optic just trying to pressure the man on point. Pressure is the name of the game, and they are winning it so far. Board in our fly. You've got a bit of space to work with. Kenny checks every possible corner. You know those players will be coming out of tunnel. Have to move quickly. Get involved, Kenny. Target it down against Kleenex up close and personal. The tags are there. The trades are done. Last two members of Ultra. The walls are closing in around them, but in sight. Diamond. Absolute diamond, that boy is. Doesn't go down. Ultra hold. Yeah, absolutely on point. Ice in your veins. It is not easy. Well, it's extremely easy to be the guy in the hill in those moments if your teammates have good comms, but it gets a little bit nervy when the jump ups happen. And maybe better news from Ultra. Not only do they get the full 60 effectively on P2, but on rotation, an opportunity to at least be a nuisance. Envoy being forced to try to make the big play can't quite deliver. It certainly makes an impact, but at the time, Optic again. You got enough time on P1 that you're allowed to stay ahead of the rotation game, set up on P3, and potentially just go ahead and retake that lead. Here it comes. Envoy gets it done finally. Contest. Oh, wow. Four down for Optic. That's a big win for Ultra and lots of time there. 36 plus seconds. That's a huge victory. I was busy yapping. By the way, Insight 3-0. <laughs> Hasn't died yet this game. 4-0. Nice. He's a, he's a diamond. Phoenix. Oof, nearly gets the second there. Pred. Hot hands still from that last matchup. Optic now with another chance to hit this one. Try to get the break. One side dealt with the other done. Ultra. A brick wall in that back alleyway. You don't want to be going there. Rotation now towards that barbershop. Envoy trying to get involved. Dashy on the god steps. Yeah, now Insight still playing his life. This will be P3 or P4, excuse me, get a pop. He still hasn't died. 
Talk about the longest life. This is uh, three minutes straight. He's got the cruise missile. He's blocking the back spawns inside, trying to set his teammates up for success. A four man stack at the back side of time. Yeah, because of the boys through the front. Nays there, an exchange of gunfire on the inside. It's a very, very close space to be battling in. Looks around, nobody home. That's fine. Envoy pushes out. Can he get another here? As the break is there for Ultra, they've got to dig in now and try to deal with the counterattack. His optic's still very close. Tunnel, steps, you name it. From the hip, Shotzi walks away with it, but the win is done and Ultra are back in command. Yeah, now they got to read the spawns to the right. Three players in the back, and as soon as you ask for them to read it, everybody turns around in sight. There's number seven trying to keep him at bay. He's finally going to fall, but on the rotation, Ultra way ahead of the game right now. Players already pushed back to crates. He got P2, so he might lose a little bit of scrap, but now you are in prime position to run away with this lead. Kleenex unbelievably involved so far. 13 and 11. Put them together, and what have you got? It's not Bibbidi Bobby Boo, it's engagements. And now Ultra engaging with a new hard point, an early rotation once again. Time going their way. And they're just like, I mean, what do you even do? They're going to get grouped up together and work through a ticket, but you can see they're concerned about the garage flank and start running down. Scrap's got an angle, getting out some damage. He got insight there for the cross and team fire with Envoy, and the setup is perfect. The execution even better. Freebie kill there from Kleenex because the nade is on point and Optic right back to square one. Shotzi tried to find a route, but you know, Ultra, every door is closed and this is as good as a perfect 60 is really going to get. And this is exactly what I was talking about with what is going to save Ultra here is their resolve. It's how cool they are. They have handled that unbelievable okay. defeat on Invasion and they bounced back magnificently. A couple down though here. Is that enough to turn the tide in Optic's favor? We'll find out. But as the first set's done, Chance, a very strong look out of the purple team. Yeah, not a perfect full 60 on P5, but Ultra is certainly happy and going to cut their losses for the final 15. But right now, Ultra have dominated the Money Hills. And now even towards P1, this is where Optic got more than half of their time was on this very P1. And right now, Ultra, you can see they've got the swarm and the kills still flowing their way. And Insight is 8-2, and two, the least active best hardpoint game we've seen play. <laughs> Indeed. Rival at hand. Can he take care of any more of these players? Chelsea finds a two beast on the inside of the hard point. Here come the rest of Optic to try to back him up. And it's non-stop. It's this hard point. It's an absolute bloodbath. They can test it for a moment. For those of you wondering at home, yes, it is Ava Unit 1. One for the nerds. Pred. Nerds his way into the fight. Can't get the second. Kleenex is there for the trace. 20 and 14 once again. Kleenex working overtime here on Skid Row. Ooh, big gunfight tunnel too. Ends up going the way of Kleenex. Pred is not ready in that moment. Kleenex though, maybe a bit too quick on the jump. Insight couldn't quite rip him out. If there's any opportunity for Optic to get back in this game, this is how Skid Row plays out. It is just chain the money hills together. You are down by 100, a full 60 though, and you can make it a competition. If Ultra though, if they get the break, they will win the game. There we go. Ultra trying to get the break so far. The money hill is in USD. No currency conversion just yet. 45 seconds to go, though. A little bit of time to get it done, as Ultra will not be winning it here, even if they get the break in the next few moments. But doing what they can to keep that pressure on. But not when Dashi is shooting like this. I, it's like a different game when you're playing against... I mean, there's a lot of pro players that have a shot like that, but Dashi especially, that there are just certain things you can't do on the map. That's a moment where I think you get up to the craze 99 out of 100 times, but Bruce... Gonna be the man that stamps it. These are the big gunfights to win, by the way, but it's Kenny from down low that helps them out. So there you go. The full 60 Optic was looking for. It. They are able to secure it. The opportunity to get back in this game very much alive. On the rotation, though, Toronto Ultra are gonna be holding the back spawns. They're gonna be towards new first, and it doesn't look like Optic are sending anybody in the flanks just yet. Shots are gonna do it from up top. Oh, they all together. Oh, Shotsy. The slide. Not enough to get the second, though. Alley's open for business, and now Ultra have still got themselves in there. Last time, they got a great break onto Optic. Can Optic now do the same? They want to get this done ASAP and keep Ultra away from the finish line. They just can't get through, though. I mean, again, no opportunities to really flank. If you go through top P1, players for Toronto are nearby, and any kill they get from Optic is just getting traded, and if they don't get the trades, you get the deepest spawn, and unfortunate right now from Optic, not only do they have to rotate, which there's no time to do, you have to flood into where the time is now. You're not going to be able to get it done, and you talk about a bounce-back game, Ultra absolutely throttling Optic on Skid Row. That late spawn not going to come in time, or maybe the 249. Ruin the final call, why don't you? <laughs>
But there you go, game five. We wouldn't have it any other way. A final moment for our two teams to recoup, talk strats and get things going. There's a real sense of camaraderie there. <laughs> Kleenex getting a lot of pats on the back for that performance. He really helped the boys speed run that one and get us to the end of this series ASAP. Here we go though. Game five, Terminal S&D. And I'm just curious as to what sort of like absurd stat line is going to be thrown up in the map five. Like we had the map one Rio that might be the most balanced sort of score sheet that we've ever had in terms of damage and like output and kills and consistency for both teams. Then we had Shotzi with ridiculous numbers on the control. And then we had Insight that was 6-0 for four minutes in this game. But once again, it is the exact same score line, by the way, on the opening break there uh, from the Rio or wait a minute. I'm crazy. That's the exact same. That's because it is the scoreboard from Rio. Okay. A little bit of a mix up there. You know, Optic had the strong start on P1. It was the rotation of P2 or Ultra did the thing, but there you go. We get the stats for this one in sight. Maybe a little bit shoes up, comfortable the whole way through, but Optic for a, a rarity struggling on Skid Row. You are the GOAT for that one, brother. That threw me off so bad. <laughs> <on the dot. laughs> it was 250-155 here on Skid Row. And again, that was the performance from Kleenex, 27 and 20. Nearly 5,000 damage, massive work from them. But that is just another chapter in this saga of the build-up towards Major 2. Optic Texas have pushed Ultra the distance. The last search and destroy in the series was a 6-0. The invasion was a 3-0 in control. And now in Terminal, we've heard how they've struggled in the mid-game adjustments that Desk touched on it before. We find out how this one goes down. What a marathon this series has been so far. An absolute treat. We hope you folks at home are enjoying it. And for the folks who are going to the Major, you're going to get to see this in person as well. Charles, how are you feeling, mate? I do just insane. I feel like my head's in a blender. Kleenex just had 47 engagements to Insights 19. So two very <laughs> different styles of Call of Duty being played. And as you pointed out, a one in five record on Terminal from Optic. It has been their pain point, their focus, the place they need to make adjustments. And for Toronto, it's just their first look on it. It's a brand new map for these guys to see how they play in S&D. So very interesting to see how deep their map pool actually is. We'll find out after the break, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new map for Ultra, but for now, it's a commercial break. On the other side of this one, Game 5, Optic Texas have done the unthinkable. Can they take Ultra down? We'll find out after this break. game with the scuff the official controller of the call of duty league slice up your competition with the executive chef operator now available in game in the call of duty store
Ladies and gents, welcome back. Game five is moments away. Terminal us indeed. We've got Toronto Ultra and we've got Texas, and it's going to be an absolute delight. The series so far has been a nail biter for one reason or another. And whatever side of the fence you're on, it's a fantastic day for COD fans. Here we go, mate. And a scary side from Optic as well. You don't want to sort of idealistically be in a situation where you have to rely on your S and D to actually win the series. They get bullied out in both of the hard points, but. Going into game fives, obviously from Ultra, perfect. The team KD of 1.63 is absurd, and a big factor in that KD is Envoy doubling up on the damage there. 2.33 is completely absurd. But again, this is the first look we have seen from Toronto on this map. And I know for FaZe, it was the exact same story yesterday of just these teams pushing their map pool right before the major the attack first Shotzi maybe one of the guys to lead the charge a little bit of intel coming through and doesn't waste much time he's already on the hunt slinky shoulders there from envoy Shotzi not taking the bait just yet or will they again decisions now how do we take back that plane try to get that bomb down over towards a gunfight over by b slows down dashi now the mind games continue yeah, Envoy trying to disrupt the timing after you clear out the cockpit. Maybe that's when you slide in, so that's why he's chucking out the nade. But you know the plane hit's coming. You know it's going to happen, and it's Fred that gets that first blood. And they got the pressure down low, and Shotzi is already hunting you down in your own spawn. Scrap can't make the play. Fred is gunning players left and right. Maybe a slight mechanical error there from Kleenex. Can't quite hop the box. Insight now. Takes one. Tagged up takes his time he's got 40 seconds to play Optic that is first. not gonna <laughs> last long yeah that is an absurd round i don't was it pred that slid into the plane to get that kill yes. or did he wall bang from outside of it if he slid in and got the kill on envoy like that that is clinical yeah able to he, get three in the round it was able to get prone as well but it, it was the start it was the nade from shots he cooked to perfection it looked like an impact grenade it hit that wall and exploded immediately the inside of fuselage pops shots he sets up his boy perfectly envoy had nowhere to go round two here we go yeah, you talk about mid-round adjustments being the focus point after they got that first blood they just ran it down underneath the plane that is a very discomforting feeling for toronto and now on defense, 2-2 split, more or less from Optic. Kenny roaming more towards so mid, but he can cover everything on the map from top third. Ultra making a good bit of noise over by B, but Envoy with the bomb, repositioning, and by the looks of it, it's going to be a bit of a late plane hit. I think for Optic Texas, the objective is don't let the round get to that sort of middle portion. Don't worry about it. Joxley Pred on the outside. Catching some rays, waiting for a player to take the bait. Can Pred keep the spree going? As we are running out of time in this round, those two members of Ultra. Here they go. Envoy eats it. Four in a row for Pred. Drops down immediately, and if anybody wants to drop down to trade Pred, shots, he's also waiting in the wings. You get the plane cross covered. You get two players down low, and you got a man advantage. This is looking like a gorgeous round from Optic. Things like that as well. Seemingly nothing can go wrong for Optic. Wonderful coverage there from Scrap. And Pred's still alive out here. 15 seconds on the clock. Time this right, and he's got himself streaks. And the round. Insight's been taken care of as well now. All down to Scrap. It's first come, first serve. Ugh, it's an awkward lineup there, and I do think Pred got the kill in the end. He's one away from streaks. That's just another, I mean, again, gorgeous round. Pred does everything right, gets the first blood. Really quite literally playing like a predator, just picks his spot and just waits for the kill to fall into his lap. Shotzi may be getting caught. Red Dot chasing just a touch, but at that point, there's 17 seconds left on the game clock, and you got Kenny and Dashy watching the cross towards plane. So the wall bangs and shots on the cross completely on point. Back to back, beauty, beautiful rounds coming from Optic, and also eight rounds in a row in Surge and Destroy. Just yep. throwing that out there. Oh, yeah. Two teams have done it. Let's see if Optic can join the few. Nearly every round has been so slow in the opening break so far. Not a lot of opening action. Both teams doing a very, very good job of feeling each other out. 
last night. It is oh. perfect. Yep, I was going to say, you could see everybody trying to line it up, and Kleenex going to be on the bitter end of that one. Kenny gets active in the meantime, and another cold, incalculated round here from Optic. It's Shotzi freebies for him. This is as good as it gets. This is going to be nine rounds in a row from Optic against Toronto Ultra. All on his lonesome now, Scrap. Oh, my friends are dead. And the bomb's been planted at B. That should be it, those tags. He's not going to be able to challenge Dashy. Here come the members of Optic. Hunt him down in the round. Although, there it is. The trade's complete. Nine rounds in a row. I, there's not even a, a moral victory hill or here, rather. Scrap might get an extra kill before he falls, but that was a hopeless round. That is perfect made coordination coming out the start. It was a Semtex for whatever player was playing inside of Dreams, but also the nade from Shotzi. Again, just perfectly coordinated. That duo right there, absolutely perfect. And again, Kenny jumps on a player as well. Him and Dashi also making plays on the other side with the distraction, so... Both duos right now from Optic Texas putting in work. And again, nine rounds of Search and Destroy in a row against what we might have to say was formerly the best team in the world because right now a lot of teams are getting active. Oh, very indeed. Trades Kenny. Oh, fights two. Pred into the fight. Last man up. Envoy. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Clean. As the writing is on the green wall, these boys are absolutely running ultra over. Don't want to deal with Shotzi by the plane. Have fun dealing with Kenny over by Eskies. Three in the round and seven overall. Maybe the only pain point for Kenny so far this year has been an aspect of the S&D game, but right now, absolutely thriving. Ten rounds in a row. This is a spectacle. Make no mistake. This is Optic. Again, game plan on absolute point. And you have on the flip side from Ultra. I mean, everybody's struggling. Scrap has only been picking up freebies when he's the last one alive. Yeah, and they barely count. Consolation kills all members of Optic. They've got priority boarding and they've got the plane. They're in. Massive damage. Kenny walks away with the first blood. They know on boys at the backside. They're set up here for this one. Just over a minute to go. Should be able to plant that bomb any second now, but they are waiting for the counterattack from Ultra. Well, Pred's got the hallway. You got Dashy looking for the flank, and the other two doubled up in the plane. So if you try to make the move, someone's going to catch it. Pred able to get it. And now a four versus two with so much time. Optic simply not making any mistakes. Oh, not at all. Oh, Pred. Bit of awkward timing. That player may be able to get up behind them. Dashy, though, no problem whatsoever. To take care of insight, and it is an immaculate round from Optic Texas. Once again, I cannot believe what we are seeing in search out of this team. And, you know, I, the conversation maybe long-term needs to be the maybe pick and ban decision-making for Toronto Ultra. We're not going to get our answer until the major. But right now, Toronto Ultra might be dishing out some confidence to the other top teams in the game. They are getting obliterated in search. And it's one thing if it's just Terminal, the map that they've never played. It's their first look on it, their first repetition. But even on the Karachi, their bread and butter, Optic are just blowing them out. It's match point, and the way the search and destroys have gone so far, you are rubbing your hands together if you're an optic fan. Ultra, though, a sign of life. Snuffed! <laughs> okay. By Shotzi, and he's gone. Optic's ghost. He is uncatchable. He might be able to get another hit. Oh, it was close. Those are clean shots, but still a two versus two. Shotzi did get the intel that someone dipped out the back of the plane, and obviously they know about Insight, but Insight's going to be dealing with two different players, Pred and Kenny. Maybe just waiting for their moment, or maybe Scrap in the meantime actually finds the pick. That's from downrange. Those are good shots, but this oh is Pred's opportunity to clutch and dagger them with the double 6-0. And this was the worry, the mid-game adjustment. They didn't quite have it. Scrap's now on the flank. The timing of this one. Wait, I don't believe it. Damage. Scrap's out. Pred holds his irons. Will he chow this? Ultra, stay alive. And that is all it takes. <laughs> Just a massive clutch with Scrap winning two huge gunfights. 
And that is absurdly icy and patient <laughs> as well. Hold on. It, it looks like Pred lost them, but the match. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to him. <laughs> He's going to hear about it later. That's like a trash talk 1v1 that Scraps is going to hold that over his head. But game's not over. Ultra maybe thinking about the concept of what it's like to have a comeback. But right now, Envoy, the man in game fives, has the 2 plus KD right now on a goose egg. 0 oh, and 6 still looking for his first. I think Pred's buying the boys a steak dinner tonight. His card's on the table after that one. 5 to 1, though, Ultra. Uh oh. Kobe. Shotzi says good night. Man advantage, I Toronto. I do wonder if that's either him just being a moron or if someone threw a frag that landed on his feet and he tried to toss it back and just like accepted the kill. I think it's probably just unfortunate, but you never know. Either way, first blood. Ultra, congratulations. And we'll see if they can make something of it. They've kept Optic on their side of the map. All these shots from Scrap. Really nice shots. It's going to slow him down once again. Clock still taking 40 to go. Very difficult to be comfortable in these moments. You do have Dashi in prime position to get a freebie. There it is. Even up the odds. Three versus three. The B site much more open now than it was before. And Scrap, if he wants to make the play, might be jumping straight into Kenny. But Scrap not getting active just yet. But even with the way this round started, Optic, this is incredibly clutchable. They're very capable of getting this one done. Ultra now scrambling to find the approach towards the bomb site. Kleenex, the closest man. Shoulders thrown, doesn't see anything. Commits. Dashi gets them both. The last man scrap. Can Bruce find another one on the round? No, nope, scrap gets it. And Pred puts in the bed. Optic Texas with an absolutely disgusting display in search and destroy. They win the game five. And not that I'm gonna ever doubt Optic's confidence to begin with, but if they weren't before, they are certainly infinitely more confident now going into the new major. That was absurd s &D gameplay. They started to troll a little bit in like the, the very final round, but outside of that, the Karachi absolute spectacle every single round. They had a game plan, the mid round adjustments on point, hunting down the players on ultra right from the jump. No fear in their hearts, all the confidence in their world, and a very solid Game 5 victory. One thing that has certainly been true from Optic Texas, they have been clutched throughout this entire stage, and, well, more things to add to the pile. A donut there from Dylan Envoy. And another 6-0 defeat as well, Ultra. This has been an incredibly interesting, like, qualifying stage for this Toronto team. And honestly, I just can't wait for the major. I can't wait for the major, but yep, another donut. And another man in the running to be the next James Bond as Daniel Craig is getting a little old. But there we go, search and destroy done. Game five, complete optic. CDL points go their way and confidence more than anything is something that we'll be looking at for time.